for Ark Knight. So, Join now, and you get a free temple. What are your guys' choices on the ban? <laughs> I think the easy ban here is Kudu. True. Uh, I think you either ban Mizuki or Tokoyo Eto. If, especially since you bring Himika here. Yeah, I would ban Mizuki or Tokoyo Eto. Most likely Mizuki. Yep. But, but what is Mizuki Tokoyo A2 going to do? Deal straight to direct life damage with problem line. Yeah, they're gonna do the. What can they do? Uh, the thing is, I don't. I don't really think you could. Uh... You're. Sure. Mizuki Tokoyo yeah, Eto can. can survive Himika for sure. But can it survive them? Like, how long does it take to get set up? Alright, here's the thing though. Uh, you don't give your own you? Himika Talia, that's for sure. Himika Talia is strong. The Himika yeah, Talia do is just. I really do is just burn the three flare for whatever this is, right? I mean, you just ban Himika, right? <laughs> you you have to ban Himika, yeah. That's, I, that's, I think you have to ban Himika, and then you have to deal with uh, Yaksha Thalia with Hagane. It sounds Bye. pretty annoying still. I mean, okay. Uh, yeah. Going off the previous game, surely they don't know how to do Yaksha. Alia. Sensible ban would be Himika, probably. And back. Oh, here we have the Drain Devil, whatever okay. that other thing is called. Oh, yeah, that's good. Drain Devil, he's a Mero. Drain Devil turret. I like that. I feel um, the only one card that probably I want to bring from Aryan side is removing the command from Mizuki and change that to uh, Reflecta. I feel like the last one you take here is is uh, or frontline probably. No, uh, uh, I mean the, la the last uh, special is Kudu S4 because then you can just turn off black box if it was even a threat. Mm. You don't have to play it, you can just turn it face up, right? I feel it's it much, um, I don't know, man. I, um. It's free. You have the enhancements, right? Oh no, only one enhancement, never mind. Yeah, and you don't want to take any of the other enhancements anyway, so. That's too much commitment. You need to bring one more enchantment and. Yeah. yeah, it's not worth it to bring one. Actually, no, but you have the, the soldier, though. Ah, uh, that's terminal, so it will never go to play pile. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's true. I think I will just bring the... the What is this called? Tatenashi. Oh, yeah, that's true. Wait, but what about Roaring? Or cry. Yeah, definitely. You, it's a, yeah. You, you, see, drop everything that you have there and just build a big golem deck with roaring or cry. Yes. No way. I mean, if you want to play with <laughs> roaring or cry, it could be done if you are with Kuroro A2. <laughs> Wait, but think of the roaring war cry into Regaina. Yeah, yeah. Lore Cry Regaina, then you get to replay your. Regaina can't replay War Cry though. I don't know, man. You I can't... don't like this. You can't I... replay your counter offensive, Don't and it comes a 3 1 attack. <laughs> no, it's no, just I think plus what you one, do, then it right, becomes a 2 just 1. Use the... Is Command use good, the... though? Like, for real? Seatsu Zenshin, the, the Mizuki is uh, throughout, right? You use that for defense and you use Tornado for offense. And yeah. Lose anyways because you're playing a big Golem deck. 
Uh, I feel like it's better if you change command to the one one attack from Izukira, probably. The problem no, with the Aryan attack is there is not enough offense. The right. problem with Aryan's deck is that he's never going to land a single hammer. And the, unless you the sky crash, right? Godly intervention is great. Yeah, see? Because you turn off the one threat, you know? Mm -hmm. And then you just get to sit pretty and stay at 5 aura the whole game and win. Exactly. The, uh, I guess there is technically another thing that could happen, though. Um, if Black Box is used to do Yaksha and you do enough flinches, you can put your opponent in a situation where they don't have the resources to recover to 5 aura. Technically. But then you lose the game if you don't win that turn because you're at Yaksha with no fuel. Oh, yeah, how do you even activate Black Box in the first place? Uh, isn't it, uh, burning. Dub double uh, roaring. Oh yeah, roaring correct. Roaring twice. True. Double roaring once. into shield charge once? Yeah. That's the That's whole thing you would have. That's way... That's very slow. Yeah. So why do you take... Almost impossible, like, actually. That's the real question. You need to go to range 1. How you go to range 1 right now? Uh, Hagane has easy way to go range 1. With? But, yeah, you're talking about uh, yeah. the third rotation, at least. On reshuffles. You want to go ran to range 1 with Grand Gravity? Uh, no, uh, with... Oh yeah, I guess so, yeah. That's the only one that can go to Rensen. Oh, I guess, I, I was thinking, I could be thinking about this wrong, actually, right? The, the, the initial thought is, right, you're going to use Shield Charge first, right? What if you do Sky Crash rushing down and then do Shield Charge away? And so you're guaranteed to do Flare Denial. Ooh, big scary. I'll actual combo. No, no, no. If you bring Shield Charge, you have to bring Webbing it. Or you need to make sure that you can get Yaksa after reshuffle. Or you have to be playing Renry, right? Because when you're playing Renry, you can do uh, uh, just lie about your uh, your one distance to Shadow and no one will ever call you on it. That's weird. Okay, always refute on that. You know, I, uh, that that actually happened in the game after you guys left. Uh, but that's weird. Maru, Maru refuted it, and it was real. And I got that aura damage. Yeah, you did not. Uh... That's fine, right? You know their reactions down for one aura damage. That's worth it. I will totally refute every time. Well, see, I was locking the distance at zero, so. Uh. Take, 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 taking an extra aura damage when you're going to have to spend all your resources to retreat next turn is kind of rough. The only application that card is worth taking for, though, is if you're going to distance aura lock. Distance lock. Oh boy, how are you going to see the legendary shield charge combo? How much flare do you need for that? Two, four, six flare? Aryan is able to uh, do things with that hand. Mill one. 
fantastic play. Uh. That's like one seventh of a damage right there. Mm -hmm. Why ever Master P take green stun instead of maneuver? I don't know why. I cannot think of a single good reason, to be honest, so. To not take the, um... Oh, shh! Top deck stunt again, we get to see the... Uh... Here we go! <laughs> Distance six. Six three, six three, six three. Forward, forward, forward. Uh, forward three times and then six three attack. Pay five. For extra greedy, you could go for the five three into shield charge. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go! Oh my turbo. This is why you bring stunt, so you could scam your opponent with the early uh, six distance. Ran for minute <laughs> crash before they have the flare to react. Alright, not being greedy, just going for a nice 6 3 attack. Oh, oh. Where's the 6 3? Where is the 6 3? Huh? Manglo! Where's your 6? Manglo! What? <laughs> it's Mizuki Kururu. They have no punish with Flare. It's not like Sine, which just instantly turns around and Rhythmic arcs you to death. It's Mizuki A 6-3 attack. A 6-3 attack. Right, right. Sad. This is very sad. Right, well, Orion can always misplay by... Not getting enough aura. aura, right? There's like no chance of Aryan ever misplaying like that, right? Yep. As one aura, extra action is gonna be a recover or a retreat, okay. and then you need to recover twice. Not really. You can just play the 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 shield from. I uh, no, no I mean cavalry, and then you can always react with. I forgot the name. Bulwark. You don't really need to have five aura again if you are Mizuki. Yeah, true. You are fine well, with four aura. You are fine with four aura as long as you put out the cavalry oh, first for no reactions. Actually, what did Aryan recruit? Shield bearer, cavalry, spearman. Yeah, one of each. So. Yeah. If that's. Mm, yeah, I think that's fine. We can be patient here, waiting. Uh, here's the problem though, if you play Talia, you need to to be able to burn your machine token pretty quickly in the first shuffle, so that you can uh, you can transform after you reshuffle, and that way you can have uh, like you can have lead pretty much against your opponents because now you have uh, some kind of OP basic action 
Usually it's yaksa with petahit. And there is also some theory about Taldea playing Roaring first turn and then next turn attack with 3-3 three, three, and then next turn stun and then you continue with a lot of attack. And yeah, this is it I guess. We are going to just chill and do nothing for a while I guess because of cavalry into Pulwar soon. There is Pulwar, right, in Aryan's hand. Yep. Yep. Aryan is running Bulwark. Oh, wow, that's very effective. <laughs> Just a standard either shield charge or you don't want a shield charge into range four, right? Yeah, just the earth shatter. That's the only thing you can do. Also, I don't know why they are bringing to call it. Earth shatter got reacted, right? <laughs> Oh, yeah, Shatter can get reacted, oh, no, no, but... but it's throw out the air for a gun. Yeah. Also, Watts of Steel. I don't know why you bring Watts of Steel into this matchup. Yeah, yeah. I agree. You don't need Watts of Steel against Kururu Mizuki. The only thing it turn off is the. Oh. It's okay reaction. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's true. Yeah, I guess okay then. Then your no reaction just as well turns that off, so... So let's bring the no reaction and in, right? Oops, apparently I was wrong. He got a chance to play Silk Charms for some reason. Right, playing shield charge, you always react to this with your shield bearer and dodge it, right? Wait, can you dodge it? No, your uh, current isn't up yet. Yep. So you just shield bearer tank the two aura. And there's nothing Thalia can do to follow it up. Nothing Hagane can do because Hagane has. You react no and you only have to run. You, Talia can follow it up with Alpha 8 for 1 1. After that, continuing the attack with uh, Burning Steam. After that, continuing the attack again with Alpha Edge. After that, continue the attack with Waving Edge. That at least to life damage and. Aura damage. Right? <laughs> Showing your opponents bringing Burning Steam, Weaving Edge, and Alpha Edge. Yeah, optimally playing out all of Thalia's attacks would give 2 life damage. Then Mizuki can just counter for her own 2 life damage. Then you're still even and probably on the losing side. Oh wait, actually got the Julius black box condition off. Nice. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> For some reason, she got the red swan and able to play the shield charts. It is recover, 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 focus. Just gonna recover to 5 or uh, probably throw in advance there. Why do you want lots of steel over? Earth Shatter is the real question. Right. It's not all the Haganes attack. You go with the Aksa, you win, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
Alright, five over. You can be greedy and focus recover, but I think you don't need, you don't have to do that. You should do that since you're playing black box next turn. Not really. There might your opponent might attack you several. Ah, uh, yeah, I guess fine. Yep. Since if you go to Yaksa, yeah. Uh, your opponent will get planes and only trail one card, so it's quite safe. But if you don't go to Yaksa, I'm not sure. Black box is uh, such a strong throughout, especially if you go with Yaksa because it kind of cancel one of your opponent's next attack by letting your opponents to trail one card. Alright, throw to card. That's a cool Mizuki script. Very cool. Imagine it that cool. in real life. The Korean Magic. version got a lot of add-ons like Kyoten. Imagine having actual promos for your game with cool looking artwork. I mean, imagine. <laughs> imagine. <laughs> <That totally kept. laughs> I'm still jealous with Utsuro's official tarot art. Like, ah oh man, how they got that. I'm, I want that. I want that Utsuro. So good. Like, officially drawn by Tokiyame. That was an official art from the actual artist? Yeah. Ow. There's also some of the older tournament prizes were black and white, like, uh, ink paintings of, and there's one of Utsuro that's really, really cute. That, that he, uh, I don't know if they still go out, but it used to be like the big annual tournament. They would make one if you win it to whatever character, whatever, uh, like, concept for the art you want. Oh, the, the ink painting one? Yeah. Yeah. They did those for the first few annuals. I don't know if they still do them now. Yeah. They still do them? I have the Honokawa. No, no. I don't think they do. Alright, well, what'd you do here? you retreat focus one play the turret 31 attack that should always go to life play the counter offensive 3-2 looks like Haryan's gonna do it yep hey, we get to just watch the motions so there's turret, you spend two flare for a 3-1 attack. You should always take this to life if you're overmaster. All right. And you follow that up with a uh, counter-offensive. Since you reacted last turn, your counter-offensive becomes a 3-2 attack. You should always take this to Aura if you're Overmaster, should you? Yeah, Aura. Yeah, there is no other uh, follow-up attack, I think. The, the most threatening follow up is, is a 1 1 attack. Because last turn, uh, Aryan Rick. Yeah, and the last Spearman. Ah, yeah, Spearman. I forgot the name. And yes, fun fact Spearman will turn this off. 
first. Which then drain devils to steal the aura. Then they have to launch your wall to recover. And then the spearman resolves. <laughs> they can either do that for the damage, which is probably the right play, or you can... That's always the right play. Nothing else to do. Right. Looks like Aryan is a terrible player who forgot his module Excel. Never mind, he finally remembered. Aryan is an amazing player who remembered his module <laughs> extract. <laughs> You'll catch that one in post editing, right? Yes. All right, what can Thalia Hakane do? Since uh, our Master P doesn't bring sound the bell, the 5-3 will never ever ever connect, right? <laughs> because of full work. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't come so. Yeah, he did not bring sound the bell. It is risky though. Unless for some reason... Master desires aura more than transforming this turn. Yep. Is that yes. correct? So I don't think that's that correct. correct. Aryan can deal this already done. Yeah, like Aryan's Mizuki, so if you just black box, then Mizuki's not gonna do anything. Yeah, and, and the attack card is already played. Right. The worst is like a 1-1 one, one into another 1-1. One, one. The worst is probably Aryan Reshuffle. The best way to that. deal with Mizuki is not to do anything, to be honest. Exactly. Recover Focus Just. is the best threat. Just. Just let Mizuki try to beat you. So what you're really saying is for the rest of the game, should go into Naga and just okay. dump your entire hand every turn. Where? Oh, yeah. To build the opponent to death. Oh cool. yeah, actually that might work against Suzuki. <laughs> but the thing is that kind of strategy too doesn't work against Kururu because you just give your opponents a lot of mechanism really there. Because I forgot the name. Analyze. Analyze. That's the only one probably that goes to me. What would you do right. if you're RM here? Yeah. Would you yeah. play this route or would you mail one from the opponent? I'll play the throughout probably. Regret again. And for the throughout, would you want five aura or? I How want recruit. Recruit, recruit. I think. You are recruit. Hmm? Yeah, just three recruit, I guess. Play straight into the potential no reaction hammer swing. Um. That is full war. Uh. You have to assume your opponent's springing the no reaction hammer swing, right? Alright, yeah. What what card Aryan already see? Like, no, but the figure is zero, so... You know, What's Up Steel was never played because... There was never a chance uh. to play it, so we know there is one hidden card. 
And that what's up still could be uh, the uh, no reaction giving one. So the threat's yep, yep. still alive. Yep, yep. Uh, retreat backward. Yeah, retreat backward, bell 5-3. Yeah, that would be. Oh, dealing your opponents. Casually showing your opponent your units. So the safe play here would be one recruit, recover twice, into five aura. No, 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 no. I think. And the greedy play here would be recruit. recruit three times. Even if your opponents attack you with five three, you take that to life, right? Next time you can still deal damage from that flare. Because uh, yeah, but you can't really do any damage because no reaction, so you don't get your counter offensive attack off. So then your mm -hmm. best attack is just a single 3 1. And in those circumstances, your opponent might just take it to Aura. Then save black boxing next turn the problem with uh taking five three to our eyes you lose a lot of resource as you you only draw two cards next turn and you only have one figure so even if you spend all of that to recover you still lose yeah so this uh, could get punished very hard by the nil reaction, but we know Overmaster isn't bringing it. Alright, what does Overmaster transform into? Garuda. Yep. Garuda. Uh, two cards, no hand size this turn. Free draw to card. Cool. No discard, draw to card. Alright, we'll see next turn Grand Firnam and Crash with how many? 7 so you can four. Uh, 7 4. Uh, unless Aryan really wants to play around it, can turn it into a 6 3, which can then be shield bearered. So if you're Aryan here, what are you playing around now? The crash combo or some random Thalia attack combo? I don't know man, I had both of them. Probably the crash combo because you have the ball work for the Thalia attack combo. So against the crash you should break away once. Backward once. And recover twice to 5 aura, and then you're good. Can just wait out the increased hand size for a turn, and then your opponent has no win condition left. That's only if you make a hard read on the Grand Vermin and Crash. I mean, it's out of yes, that's Grand Vernum and Christ, right? There is no way someone bring Garuda without Grand Vernum and... Who knows? Maybe it's just easier hammer swings and that's the only reason? It, does, it doesn't Should make be. any sense for hammer swing with seven card in hand. <laughs> did Aryan recruit? Aryan recruited a shield bearer and a cavalry. So this guarantees that Aryan is able to survive the Grand Firmament Crash by taking it to Aura. If Aryan retreats to distance... 4. Yeah. Um, yeah, I guess retreat back word. No, 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 there is not enough shadow to, to do that. Retreat backward, after that, 
cavalry and you need one more petals to make your aura fight. Mm, straight backwards, backwards movement. Well, there's five shadow. Okay. Oh, that's <laughs> enough. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's enough. But. Retreat backward, recover, recover. Cavalry. I mean, you aren't doing much with this hand either way. So that's probably the best you can do. Yeah. It's like the only thing you can really do right now. Oh yeah, and also because of you to retreat back. Actually, can you just recover, focus, recover, focus several times? Because there is no shadow for to move backward with Garuda, anyway. Mm, without any shadow... Over, focus, recover. They're just gonna move backwards using their own aura, right? Yeah, but that's only five. <laughs> oh no, there is a possibility like... you can still generate shadow from attack, right? Yeah. So the safest play if you're playing around exactly crash is move to distance four. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Nah, there is no safe way. Even if you move to distance four, your opponent still can move backward twice and then play scattering the wind. And that's what uh, I'm trying really to do. No. I don't know if Overmaster P brings scatter the win or not, but yeah. If you back up more than four, because Hagane's aura is full, I don't think there's very much they can do. Yep, 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 yep. Back to five. If you but back to stunt, I forgot about stunt, but still, it'll be hard to move forward. So I feel like you back up as much as you can. So you pitch your entire hand to back up to, let's say, distance 6 or something? Yeah. Oh, Ariantos violence? Alright, we're playing the 1-1 one, one attack instead. Who cares about getting combo combo? Let's go, 1-1 one, one attack. Is it just to generate video? Probably. Yep. Alright, we're doing the no shadow strategy. Bozoo! Oh no, that's Reflecta. Well, that's nice, Reflecta, in this turn. Oh. No shadow. The f what the fuck are you doing? Ah, uh, there we go. The... Tell Arya to nice. get his speaker back. Aryan has a... Extra figure floating. And an extra yeah, Aryan has a, an extra vigor floating. Do should I tell them about the game state, or is it not worth it fixing one vigor? Plays were perfect, but then you undid them. Ah. Uh, it's okay, you see that? Conceding. In the chat. I'm not camera enough.
What's happening? Wait, is that on the area I only have one? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, it doesn't, because then you're at 4 aura instead of 5. Alright, let's see how Overmaster takes advantage of place you a charge because you don't have the movement for it. Your best backwards is... 1, 2... Can you attack at all? No, you cannot because you brought no attacks. Your best backwards is 6. You can only make that a 6-3 attack. Which, funnily enough, gets past Aryan Shield Bearer. Because Aryan didn't set to 2 5 or a. Ah! Six three? Uh, six three, which you can't shield bearer to reduce it because you're at four aura instead of five. You sad man. That is no shadow. <laughs> there is no shadow. <laughs> what is this? No, that's not how it works. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. Let's assume. Uh, let's assume Overmaster P. Start with that. It's okay. Uh, well then, it's fine. Seven, you three. can pretend Overmaster ordered it correctly. Yeah. All right, this time it's a seven four. Seven nice. four. Yep. Yeah. Tony, you could buff it. Seven to a seven four. Five. 7-4 is still basically game winning though, right? Not really, because the life's still even. <laughs> basically game winning, right? Not really. I'm sure you have like no damage at all after, but... And Ariane won this ride over Masterpiece, scoop the game, and just do... Just do... Uh, if I was Ariane, I would react with all work there. Why? Which gets me my action into my played pile. Then next turn you can <laughs> module three. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you resolve that? One, two, three, four, five. Can you do that? Is there some way of doing your Oddly intervention simulator into the opponents and Furban and Crash for lethal after. Alright, this is game over. Uh over must be surrender and Ariane takes the game. Yep. Yeah.